Yo, what is up you guys? It's Dominated here and I'm back with an insane shiny hunting tutorial. This is the fast method of shiny hunting Jirachi. Completely legit. You're not doing any fancy glitches to get a Jirachi or whatever. This is the 100% legit way to get shiny Jirachi and this is the fast method on how to shiny hunt it. Now before the way to shiny hunt Jirachi is you had to get, uh, you use the Coliseum bonus disc. Um, more info on that in my first tutorial on how to get Jirachi. I'm not going to explain too much about that. I'm just going to show you the fast method of, in, of obtaining it. Let's just skip through this. Here's my save file. I have one thing. So you're going to want to play through until you get the Pokedex before you get Jirachi. You're going to have the Coliseum bonus disc. You're going to hook up all that good stuff. And you're going to get yourself a Jirachi. But it originally took about a 10 minute reset for Jirachi to get more encounters for it because you had to restart your save file every time. This method is going to completely change that. This is going to make Jirachi, from what, what my opinion, it was the hardest shiny to get, even harder than Manaphy because of the fact that you could only get one Jirachi per save file when theoretically Manaphy you could get as many eggs per save file as you want before you had to restart it. So I thought Jirachi was harder, but this turns Jirachi into like one of the hardest shiny hunts to just an advanced shiny hunt for most people, not even that crazy hard. So, let me give credit where credit's due. I found my info from Tenpers UP on YouTube. I will leave his channel in the, in the description. I might also leave it in the end screen, depending on how, I don't know. I, I probably will, actually. But uh, that's where I got the information from. I had some issues with this method to uh, shiny hunt it, and I... I kind of figured out my own way of doing this a little better because his video just kind of has text telling you how to do it very simple, very fast. I'm going to go a little more in depth into it because there's some issues that arose for me and I want to make sure you guys don't have the same issues. So as I was saying, getting this shiny Jirachi, what you do is you put the Coliseum bonus disc in your Wii or GameCube, you hook it up with that adapter. You do the Jirachi special gift, as you can see on my screen. You get the Jirachi. If it's not shiny, you restart your save file, play through again to get to the Pokedex again, which roughly takes about 10 minutes. This will change it to about a two-minute reset, which I think is way better. That You're saving eight minutes per encounter, which is insane. Like, you can get way more. You could get about five Jirachis per every one Jirachi you got before. And yeah, let me show you how this works. So what you do is, as you can see, I have no Jirachi here. That's no big deal. You're going to want to save uh, right after you get the Pokedex from Professor Verge. If I were to give you a helpful tip on how to make this faster, when you're playing through, you have to battle Mei. And Mei is really hard to battle. As the first thing, there's a lot of RNG involved. If you get a critical hit, you basically win. If she gets a critical hit, she basically wins. You have to re-battle her if you lose. And it starts you back at Little Root Town. So you have to go all the way back and battle her again, which takes a lot of time if you lose. So I would recommend saving before Mei. If you lose, just reset and do it again. And then also you get a double save, which I think is necessary. I'm not 100%. So I saved again. We're going to turn our game off. We are going to now do the Jirachi special gift, as you can see on the other screen. You can see me. Hi, I'm in the reflection. I, I didn't really prepare for this. I'm just This is a, a scuffed kind of setup because I don't have an AV to HDMI uh, adapter, so I can't use my Elgato to stream this. So, yay. So we're gonna do this with the bonus disc. We're gonna say yes, it's gonna do this little cutscene. This is what most of the time for the resets take, is just this cutscene right here. So now it tells us to turn on the Game Boy. We're turning back on the Game Boy. It's showing that it's connected. So we're gonna wait for this to show up. We're gonna get a different screen on the Game Boy. And it's gonna play a little cutscene. We'll wait through this. So a little backstory, there's me again, hi, how you doing? Um, a little backstory on this is I saw someone get the shiny Jirachi not using this method. They did it the hardcore way, which is, you know, props to them. I will leave their video in the description, but I found a tweet of them sharing their video. And then in the replies is how I found this method. So I'm not claiming this to be my own method, but I will show you some tips that I discovered that makes this a lot better and you can still see me in the reflection. But yeah, I'll link the, the video of the person actually getting the shiny in the description 
And yeah, it, it's insane. That's I think that's like the first person to actually get that shiny Jirachi legit because that's how hard it is. So we got Jirachi. We can just turn off the Game Boy. We can just get rid of that on the screen. We're going to turn the Game Boy back on. You don't have to unplug your Game Boy at all. I would recommend keeping it plugged in because uh, at least my connector is a little messed up and it doesn't read it half the time. So if you... If you uh, unplug it, plug it back in, it might disconnect, which could, uh, you know, add to the time. So we're going to check the Jirachi. It's not shiny. Hardy nature. Keep that in mind. I'm going to back this up so I can reset. We're going to want to reset the game. Come back over here. And then what you're going to want to do, instead of going back into this, you want to delete your save file. Up, select B is to delete your save file. And this is, you have to be very careful with this. You have to hit A. This is hard to do on camera. So uh, you're going to want to, as soon as you hit yes, you turn off your Game Boy. As it, it's got to be fast because I tried this before, and while it was deleting the save data, if, if you go too long, it'll actually delete the save data. What it's going to do for this is corrupt the data. Save file is corrupt. And look at that. Our Pokedex is at 1. Which means we never got Jirachi. So, oh, um, well, there's that. And now what you're going to want to do, obviously, I don't have Jirachi anymore. It acts as though I never got it because it did a backup save file. So, that's how you delete the Jirachi and not have to restart your game. Now what you're going to want to do is, because it won't connect to the Coliseum bonus disc anymore because the save file is corrupt, you got to save it to connect it again. But not only that... I have found out that you have to save twice. I, As far as I know, you have to save twice. Because what was happening for me is the save file would be corrupt. And the backup file was the save file of me already having the Jirachi. Which is not ideal because it's the same Jirachi. And then you have to restart your save file anyway. So And then play through it. So you want to save twice. Because if I'm not mistaken, the way it works is it'll do your current save right now as the backup save and then the save where you get Jirachi as the original as the actual save and then when you corrupt it I think because there's not enough saves on it it's going to back up the save file with the Jirachi on it which you don't want I I don't even know if that's how it works but I have found out that so I'm going to save three times just in case I have found out that saving twice each time has consistently made it work <laughs> when when I only saved once, it would work one time, and then after that, it would have the save. It would load the save with the Jirachi on it, and I'd have to restart my game again. So, let's turn it off. Let's go back into the Coliseum bonus list. There's me again. What's up? All these black screens, all these reflections. I tried to make this room so it didn't have too much glare. There's still a little glare in the back, so we have a door wall over there. This is just where my Wii is currently, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, there's a free slot. We're going to do this again. We're going to get another Jirachi. What did I say the nature was? Hardy? I think the the nature was Hardy on the Jirachi. We're going to try this again. Now, obviously, this video is longer than the actual resets take. And that's because I'm just trying to explain how this works. Um, hopefully, you guys are understanding. Um, we're wait Yeah, this thing's connecting. We're waiting for it to go. We're going to get that cutscene again. Again, like most of the time it takes for a reset is in these cutscenes with the whole Game Boy and GameCube and then this thing right here that's showing you're getting Jirachi. This is where most of the time in the reset takes, which is understandable. But just imagine doing this and then having to restart your save file every time. So you have to do this cutscene plus the extra eight plus minutes it takes to restart your save file and get the Pokedex again. So... This is a way better method, in my opinion. You know, shout out to Tempers UP. Um, I really appreciate him making this video. The reason why I wanted to make this video is because, well, first of all, his video was really simplified, and there was a lot of, um, a lot of questions that arose. I actually commented on his video asking him a few things. He has yet to respond. I don't know how active he is, but I wanted to make this video to like really share. This is kind of huge for the shiny hunting community. We can just turn this off now. We can go back into it. We should have a different natured Jirachi. I mean, it, it's not guaranteed to be different nature, but it's it's a different Jirachi. But yeah, I, I really wanted to spread the word of this. We're going to check Jirachi, see if it's shiny. 
It's not, of course. It's serious nature. That definitely was not the nature. It was either hardy or hasty last time, I'm pretty sure. So that's there's the new Jirachi. We're going to restart it again. I'm going to do this one more time just to show how well it works. And then we're going to go to the title screen, hit up, select B. Right as soon as, pardon my finger, right as soon as we hit yes, we turn the Game Boy off, back on. It'll corrupt the save data. Hopefully we only have one in our Pokedex as opposed to two. If it has two in the Pokedex, it didn't work, and you just have to restart your save file. So, save file is corrupt. Okay, this one didn't work. So, it does have the issue of not working. I, I think I saved three times, so I don't know if that's really that crazy. But, uh, basically, it didn't work. I could try it again. We can, we can see if we do it again. I mean, I'm still kind of learning this. But I did get this to consistently work like four or five times in a row. So I think it's a lot harder for it to not work. Or I don't know. We're going to do that again. Hopefully this, uh, this worked. I, I doubt it will work, but we might as well try. Okay, it didn't work. So we still have the same serious nature Jirachi. If this happens, you have to do what was normal, a normal reset. So you just have to reset, start a new game, and do it over again. Which takes about 10 minutes to get the Jirachi again. So we'll just uh, hit new game. We'll do this over. And that's basically it. So you saw I could get the Jirachi twice. Um, I did do a lot of tests, and I could get this like four or five times in a row. Or three or four. I think I got it four times in a row, if I'm not mistaken to work um yeah and basically the worst thing because you were you knew you had to restart your save file anyway to hunt this so it's not a big deal if you corrupt your save file and get a new one so that's the worst that can happen is you you start a new save file and you do one of the long resets for jirachi so i thought this was a good enough uh good information to share with you guys hopefully you guys share this around i i would like a lot of people to know about this i want to see more people get shiny jirachi and this method really really greatly increases the reset time for shiny jirachi so hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully this tutorial was useful if you have any questions let me know in the comments below if you do not know anything i'm talking about right now you want to check out the first tutorial i'll have that on the end screen and probably in a card or something but yeah that is going to be it for this episode thank you guys did i say episode it's not an episode we're not doing a series but that's going to be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring those notification bells, all that good stuff. Be sure to join the domination, and I will see you in the next video.